everyone, Sabrina here from Scrappy Tales Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another product showcase video, this time featuring our April Spring Life is a Story collection. And I have to say, I absolutely love this theme. I've noticed that some other companies have done some books, uh, book themes this spring, and I just think that reading has become... Uh, popular again. <laughs> um, I feel like it's an aesthetic and this was the first time I really did a collection that I wanted to do. I mean I always enjoy illustrating any holiday, any theme that you give me, um, but this was the first time I was like you know I'm gonna do a collection that really reflects my current obsession which is books. So because I was so passionate about it um, this ended up being another humongous release. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. No point in jabbering here, but I do want to mention, as usual, I will be giving away a $50 gift card to one lucky commenter. And um, all you have to do is leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite product is. And I will pick a winner in two weeks. And I normally just put it in the beginning of one of my video tutorials. And I will also tag the winner. And then I'm also giving away a $25 gift card to someone in the live premiere chat. If you don't know what a premiere is, basically I schedule this video to go up always, usually between 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. on the day of a launch. And when it premieres, people can join it, join the live chat as the video is playing, and then you can share your feedback with one another. And it's really fun. So I encourage you guys, if you're not making it to this one, um, I will do more announcements for every collection we bring out and maybe you can join in a future release. So we're going to start off with one of our new pop-ups. Yes, we have two. And this first one is technically a pop-up within a pop-up. It's a pop-up add-on, which I've never done before. And what it coordinates with is an older set. You guys know if I can try to bring back older sets and kind of spotlight them in any way I can, um, I will do that. And I'm so excited, uh, partly because, you know, this book theme worked so well with this add-on that I'm about to show you, um, especially because I have been getting so many requests throughout the years to continue adding to this die set because it is so beloved. I think it is at least at consumer shows, everyone's favorite pop-up. And it's just because it's such a versatile set. Um, you can decorate it with any stamps or dies that you already have. And that's part of the reason why I brought it out as a standalone pop-up. But as usual, my mom came up with the most incredible mechanism that you can put inside the book. And it allows a centerpiece to kind of swing out. I'll show you samples. Actually, let me go ahead and show you a sample now just so that you can get an idea of what this die does. So this is our pop-up shadow box book. That is this die set year here. We brought this out a couple years ago and like I said, it's one of our most popular sets. I did move this bo book um, to the new release section if you don't already have it. Um, but I will say that this arm that is inside the book, you can also put it inside regular flat cards. If you do that, I do suggest using a belly band around the card just because as you can see, it is dimensional and is going to want to try to open before the recipient can truly open the card. So if you have a belly band that's going to keep it closed, the recipient will take it out and then it will reveal this awesome swinging mechanism. So you do not need the book. However, I did design it or my mom designed it specific to the book because as you can see, the book is a shadow box. So it still lays completely flat and it's just such a cool set. So I will have more samples at the very end of the video. So don't stay tuned till the very end because we have nine books. Some of the books have this mechanism, some do not. We really just wanted, you know, to really showcase the book itself because it really is such an incredible die. So now let's go ahead and share this mechanism that I just showed you. That is this set here. And in it, you get a couple sentiments um, that are book related. 
So you get, I'm so glad you're a part of my story. You can also put, thank you for being a part of my story. And then I also put dear friend and dear mom. So these are the arms that are, you know, swinging outward when you open the book. And then that is the main piece where you can put your sentiment or your main focal point. And it's a small set. It is very simple to put together. I will have tutorials on this pop-up as well as the library window very soon. I do have a consumer show this weekend. I'll be at the Orlando Expo, so I probably won't be releasing any videos until after I get back, um, but I do have a lot already pre-filmed and ready to go. So that is the mechanism. And then I did bundle it because, like I said, I just got so many requests to include more add-ons for the book. So these items also work with the mechanism. So I wanted to create a sentiment stamp set that would work in the center here. So you can use, obviously, the word dies that are included in the set, or if you're more of a stamper, uh, this image uh, will fit in the center here. And then this image, happy graduation, will fit inside the swinging arm portion where the dear friend is. So the happy graduation can swing outwards. You can also swap this sentiment for our friendship is my favorite story, wishing you a year of happy endings. And then this piece I designed mainly for the front cover of the book. So if you're you know designing the front and the inside, this stamp set kind of has you covered. And this is a happy birthday sentiment, it says, Hope this year is a page turner. There's too many, or there's, here's too many more thrilling chapters in your story. And then of course, you guys know I love butterflies. So I included a couple of them to fill in the space and to decorate your books with. The bundle also includes the coordinating die set. Oh, and you might be wondering what this long piece is here. That can actually go on the spine of your book. And I do have a sample showing that and it's really cute. It says, happy birthday, limited edition. This is also just a great book uh, stamp set for all of the book themed die sets that we have in this collection. So you're gonna see I not only use this in the book but for a lot of my cards. Um, so yes, and then there is the coordinating die set. It does cut out the sentiments as well. And then I also included a paper pad this is called Life is a Story, which is the name of the collection. And you guys know when I design pattern papers, I reuse the images that I draw in my dies and I turn them into pattern paper. So these images you're gonna see throughout you know, the showcase. This is our new open book die set. This is gonna be our book corner, our floral stem. You got some stacked books here, some books on some shelves. I just, I absolutely love this theme. And you're gonna see that I kind of did a mix of different styles within this theme. I have a lot of more classic, elegant, even Victorian looking images. And then I also have some more cutesy, whimsical images in this release. But everything coordinates so well because they all center around that book theme and then the papers just repeat there so oh and this is the birthday book cover die set so that is also included in this bundle I just showed you the pattern paper that I turned into paper using this die here so I did size this to fit on the cover of the book so it's actually four and a half wide by six and three quarters so it's a little bit smaller than an a7 card and that's because that's just the proportions of the shadow box pop-up book um, however you can still use this on a7 cards it's just going to be a little bit smaller um, i tried to design it to look like a book cover and so it has this beautiful ornate frame and then the sentiment says, hope your birthday is one for the books. And then I also gave you some butterflies that you can add to the corners. And then here is what that die looks like when you cut it out. It is really pretty. One of my favorite cover plates that I've brought out. 
And so that's the bundle. I also included some white pearls and black pearls in this bundle uh, just because I feel like with any flower, the flower centers look best with either white or black. Um, I felt, you know, no matter what flower you make, these two pearls are going to be it for you. This is technically our card kit. Um, this one is a little bit bigger, so it is a deluxe kit, especially because it has that pop-up mechanism included in it, but it is 20% off, and that is not just the weekend. That is exclusively until this sells out. The collection has been out for a couple hours now, and this kit is going by super fast, and once this sells out, um, I will not be restocking it everything will be available for separate purchase at full price so definitely take advantage of that we don't normally do a deluxe kit um, but i felt like the mechanism really kind of needed its own bundle all right so then i created three floral sets again they coordinate very well with the book and the mechanism but I did bundle them just as a trio set because they really work for any kind of spring card design. So the first set we have here is the Love You Mom Blooms. And I drew all three of these in a similar style so you can mix and match the flowers from each set. They're kind of retro inspired. And this is what they look like when you cut them out. I do like that each set has one large floral and then a couple small ones. So you can just fill an entire card with these and they're very simple uh, layering dies. The second set we have here is the Stitched Daisies. And I forgot to mention that you do get the Love You Mom word die in this set and then you get the word thanks in this set. And I just love the different ways you can layer up these flowers. You can see that there's different center options and you get the different sizes. Each set also comes with a butterfly. And then the last one here is the Happy Birthday Blooms. And here is what those look like when you cut them out. All right, so then... Now we're moving on to the second pop-up in this collection. And I know some people sometimes ask me, why do you bring out like more than one pop-up per collection? And it really just depends on the theme. Sometimes I can only come up with one idea. Other times I have two. So in this case, I wanted to create a die similar to the pop-up trellis that we brought out in the last collection, but I wanted it to be a little bit more intricate and also feature like a library cozy reading nook kind of vibe <laughs> so we just went from like classic to retro and now we're kind of coming back to classic more victorian looking images here and this pop-up does have its bundle which we'll talk about but the bundle itself is this library window. It's A7 sized, and if you have the pop-up trellis, this die is very similar to that, um, where you have the wraparound brick piece. This would be like the wraparound fence on the trellis, and then the image in the back is a library window. But this time, I added these two little library bookshelves. Um, and they're obviously optional. You don't have to add them, but they create an awesome, like very elegant looking design. Um, you also get the shadow pieces that you can layer behind the openings of the shelves. And then there's another piece to this die set that the trellis did not have. And it creates, here, let me pull in a card design here. Um, you would add it to the center here and basically you would have these in the middle and then you could pull them apart to reveal the chair and the window from behind. So you'll see more samples of these at the end but this card folds flat like this, fits inside an A7 card and displays beautifully on your table. This little chair in the background is included also in the bundle. This is our library sofa and chair, and the little doggy, the corgi, also coordinates, or is also in this set. And you get all the layering pieces to create 
a detailed sofa and chair and they're definitely like more Victorian looking. They look like they're fit for a queen. This chair gives me like Harry Potter vibes. <laughs> I just love how this turned out and I use this chair and the sofa a lot. Uh, you'll see it in the samples. And then with this die, you can use this piece, that wraparound brick, with both the plant ladder, which will create an A2 card, and with the classic bookshelf. Now this is a huge image, and this is probably my favorite die set in the whole collection. I spent a very long time adding all those intricate details to this bookshelf. And again, you can add the brick wrap around to this and create an awesome card. <laughs> um, so here is what the bookshelf looks like if you were to do every single detail. Obviously you don't have to. You're gonna see a couple of my bookshelves. I did all the same color book because obviously this is a lot of colors and I group them with the same color, but you can like individually cut each book and do like hundreds of colors on here. Um, or you can keep it very simple, but this image is just absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to show you the card samples we made with it, but all four of these sets can work together with this library window. And then obviously the chair and the sofa work with all three of these shelves. And yeah, I just love that each one, you know, is a bookshelf in some way. This is like a more modern ladder that again, you can move some of these books from the classic shelf. You can put them on the, you know, more modern ladder. Then you have a cozy little uh, library window nook. And then you have your like super traditional classic bookshelf. So really awesome for those of you who are like me and just absolutely love reading um, and have like a reader in your life. Then we have another bundle. It's not a pop-up. This is more of an interactive paper craft product. I always strive to kind of create products that work beyond just card making, but can work with other paper crafting needs. And I feel like, at least for me, I am someone that uses like a receipt or anything that is nearby to use as a bookmark. Um, so now I have no excuse. I have literally like 16 <laughs> different bookmark options here. And so all of these are created with this die set here. And these create little book corners that you can put on the corner of your books um, to basically bookmark your page. And so this is the main die that will create the base of all of those bookmarks. And then you also get, you know, some different patterned options. You also get the word uh, one more chapter and book lover. And then with this set, you can buy add-ons that will turn them into adorable little animals. So we have the barn set that creates a cow, a pig, a horse, and a little chicken. And these faces can also work with our A7 pop-up pumpkin die set. Um, I didn't have enough time to create a couple of those, but I might do that in an upcoming video. Then we have the Woodland Critter add-on for the book corner. So you can see these triangles just will go right on the edge of your book page. I'll show that at the um, during the showcase portion of this. So you get a bear, a fox, an owl, and a raccoon. You can also put Google eyes on these animals. I think that'd be really cute. You can give them different hats. You're going to see I did the owl. I gave him a graduation hat. You can do party hats and make them super super cute and then lastly we have the pet add-on so I did a little goose if you know um, me you know that I have a little black and white cat and I absolutely am obsessed with corgis so I had to do a corgi a bunny and then I did a more like regular dog the spot is optional so you don't have to add the spot over his eye and so that is that bundle and then I made a couple standalone bookmarks. So these I didn't want to put in a bundle because two of them are teacher related. Or actually, this set is teacher 
or graduation. This one's graduation only and this one's teacher only. So I figured people might only want one or the other. So I did put these separately, but they all work well together. Um, so the first one we have here is the Slimline Stacked Books. And this is actually a huge set. They had to put it on two papers. And basically what you get is this huge, tall stack of books. And you can fit this on a slimline card and it also looks great as a bookmark. And then at the top of the book, you can add either the apple or the graduation hat to reflect, you know, either teacher appreciation or graduation. And then inside the books, like on the book spines, you can write out a phrase. So for the teacher one, I have um, the influence of a teacher can never be erased. And then for the graduation one, I did congrats graduate. Um, the next chapter gets really good. So each piece, as you can see, embosses onto the spine of the books. I've never done something like this before, but I've noticed that this has become kind of trendy uh, within a couple companies. So I'd love to keep doing this and what it's not a simple emboss it actually does a double emboss so it's it actually debosses the paper um, pretty deep so you can definitely read the text very well and I really enjoyed making this set. There's also a little scroll that you can put at the bottom of the stack and then there's also a pencil for the teacher. All right, and then I also made a bookmark for teachers because I feel like books and teachers go hand in hand. I think these would be great gifts. Um, and I gave you an optional gift card holder that you can put on the back of your bookmark so you can add a gift card for your kids' teachers. Obviously, there's a lot of school supplies here that you can use on regular flat cards as well. I also gave you Mr. Miss and then all the different ways to you know write that out. Um, and then an alphabet die. So you can customize these bookmarks to the specific teacher. So you can see I put Mr. Smith um, and then the die set also includes this very large sentiment that would look great on any regular card. Um, and it says it takes a big heart to help shape little minds. And then this set also includes the actual bookmark itself that you can really use with any stamper die that you have in your stash. The apple you can add to the top and when it's inside the book you would just see the apple peeking through with the teacher's name. It's just a really versatile set. You can do a lot with it and I think the school supplies honestly on their own is worth it for this set. It's honestly chock full of goodies and I'll be using this alphabet die all the time. Then I created a similar set specific to graduation and this set like the apple, I did a graduation cap at the top that you would see peeking through the book. And then you get the word dies, congrats grad, class of 2024. I actually gave you just regular numbers so that, you know, next year you can do 2025. And then you get the tassel for the graduation hat. You also get this gorgeous sentiment that says on to the next chapter. And I think this would look work great for like retirement as well. Um, or someone that may be pregnant and like, be, you know, is expecting. This is a great sentiment for a lot of different occasions. Then you also get this star that you can layer on top of the bookmark and it creates like this fun see-through window, which I'll show you some samples of that. This set also includes just a little slit that you can add diagonally and that again, you can add a gift card to the backs of these bookmarks. And these are really large bookmarks. Um, so they're almost like a card in and of, an, of themselves. <laughs> so that is that set. And then we are down to just the bookish themed die sets. These are the ones that I just could not live without. They do, you know, you'll see them sprinkled in in our different samples, but they are standalone. So the first one I created is the floral book stem. And this one I just had to make after creating the trellis vine from the last collection. And that die set um is so popular. So I feel like this one will probably be similar. I did draw these flowers to kind of coordinate with these other standalone sets. 
but it's a nice large image perfect for a7 cards and then you get all the layering pieces to make this super detailed then i created the books and coffee set and this just includes some book images you get a closed book an open book one with a coffee cup next to it and then just some small details to accent those pieces and then you also get the word die books and coffee again they coordinate just like plants <laughs> i felt like coffee had to be added in then we have the smaller stack of books with flowers and this is more sized for an a7 card and I just think the glasses at the top are super cute. Also looks fantastic with our new paper pad. And these flowers kind of match the flowers on the stem that I just showed you. So you can definitely mix and match. Then we have this super large open book die. And this one is another one of my favorites. I mean, look at the finished image here. It's A7 sized and it's really as big as it is it's not that detailed there's not a lot of like tiny tiny pieces like some of my other sets have um so this one was really easy and quick to assemble the only small pieces are those little stars that are around the flowers but you obviously don't have to add those and yeah that finishes off the entire new collection no stencils this time i honestly just didn't feel like I had to have any stencils in this collection because it was already so big. Um, but we do, of course, have, if I can find it, a freebie die. Here it is. And this is by far our biggest freebie that we've ever brought out. This is honestly like a standalone die. You can put this as the centerpiece on an A2 card. And in this set, you get Treat Yo Shelf, which works perfectly with all those bookshelves that I just showed you uh, with the plants, the books, um, the coffee, and everything. Then you get some different books that you can put on the shelf. And then I also included a little butterfly just as an accent. And yeah, that's a pretty awesome freebie. Um, these are while supplies last, but I do have a lot of them, so... Yes, that finishes off the collection. No gems. I do want to mention that in the last collection, we brought out like 20 or so embellishments that were all spring colors. So um, all of those coordinate with this collection as well. So let's go ahead and show the inspiration portion of this video, which is a lot of people's favorite part. And we have nine books, 16 book corners, and four regular bookmarks, and I think seven or eight library windows. So yes, we have a lot to show. Let's go ahead and get started. This one features the moving arm mechanism. This set includes the stitched daisies. This is the stamped image that's included in the bundle. This is the paper from the paper pad. We put some more daisies inside with that big happy birthday, perfectly sized to fit on that mechanism. And just look at all the layers. You can keep adding more layers if you wanted to. You can put this one in there and create super dimensional flowers. So that's our first birthday card. I did show this one earlier, but this is another card I created on a recent live. If you would like to already see how this um, pop-up is assembled, you can check out that video. Like I said, I will have some video tutorials. They're just going to come out a little bit later than normal. It's been a crazy week here, <laughs> basically launching and also preparing for a huge show. <laughs> so yes, I know I realize I messed up the Corgi. The body should have been white and his head should have been orange. I noticed that after the live, I was like, wait, why does that corgi look that way? And I did that with another corgi that you'll see in another card. Um, so that was my mistake. 
we have some more of those retro flowers. These are the birthday blooms and these are much more elegant. You might have saw in the package that I went with really bright florals, um, but this is very, it almost reminds me of like a romanticy book cover with that swirl cover plate frame also included in the bundle. <laughs> um, and we just made the flowers maroon and they look super elegant when you kind of choose color schemes like this. And then we did the hope of your birthday is one for the books in the center. That sentiment is included in the frame. Perfect sentiment uh, for birthday cards. We have another book here. This is the floral stacked books with all the pattern paper. And then this book opens sideways, which we don't, we have never done a book that opens sideways, but I think that the mechanism looks awesome vertically or horizontally. So that's why we did a couple horizontal books instead. And as you can see, that mechanism just tucks in when the card closes and then it just swings open when you open the book, which is so cool. And they are still completely flat books which is so cool. These flowers down here are from the open book die set. We just used the individual flowers and then here is the open book. And we just surrounded the whole book with flowers here. All right, here is another library window. This one is kind of like a fantasy inspired book nook with a pink chair. This is honestly like my dream, <laughs> my dream setup because I love these colors. And I just did a little stack of books in the corner and then I uh, gold heat embossed the sentiment. Our friendship is my favorite story from the stamp set. These little white flowers are from the books and coffee set. The vine is included in the library window and then there is the chair from the library sofa and chair set. And then that just folds like so. On this one, I did not include those bookshelves. Let me show you one where I did include those. So this, when the card is folded flat, you can see that these shelves are tucked in. And then when your recipient opens it, they can swing out these bookshelves and then see that Siamese cat on the inside. You guys know... I have two Siamese, so I just had to stick one on top of a stack of books. It looks like he's playing with something on that shelf there. And this card looks beautiful displayed. So this is one where I did not add those extra shelves. And here's one where I did, where again, you can close it, fold it flat this way, open it, and swing out those arms. So that's what's different about this uh, library window as opposed to the trellis. The trellis did not have this like swinging add-on part to it. Um, so yeah, really cool. I also showed this one earlier, but I wanna point out what everything is on here. Hope your birthday is one for the books. Again, this is from that cover plate die. These images are from the books and coffee set. Really great like little fillers. I added one also to the arm up here and to the arm down here. I just absolutely love how interactive this mechanism is. I added another book and coffee over here. And then on the side, I added the sentiment, which is kind of cool and different. Added the stack of books to the center piece. And then on the side, I added the plant ladder. So it's kind of like a living room setup. Let's see, let's share some book corners. Now I shared these in yesterday's live and I have to say that these little book corners are selling like hotcakes. Um, people love them. And I think the reason why is because they're very simple to create uh, and they're fun for kids. They're not super intricate. They're very, very easy to make. And 
kids can just pick their favorite animal and make their own little book corners. So there are the three sets, the woodland, the farm, and the pets. And I did make one of each for all of those animals. This raccoon, I put little Google eyes. You can see some of the um, animals have tails, which I kind of tucked outwards. And what's cute about that and with the ears is that you can see the ears in the tail outside of the book uh, when the book is closed. And here I have the current book that I'm reading. And as you can see, you can just grab your book corner, grab a couple pages and tuck him in the top. And he just holds your spot in your book. And that's just, isn't that adorable with the little ears poking out? I did design a couple of the book corners to go on the top right. And then some of them can go on the bottom left or bottom right, sorry. The corgi has a cute little butt. The pig also has a tail. So you can have the tail just on the back side or you can have it sticking out like I did with the raccoon and the fox. There's some different options there. So I thought that these were a nice addition because I am someone that suffers from not ever having a bookmark. I literally just use whatever is near me to mark my spot in my book. <laughs> so now I have 16 options here for different corners. So those are the animals. Those are all the add-ons. But the book corner itself creates gorgeous corners on their own. And I am missing, here's the other one. So these four I made just with the die. Um, and it includes these different triangle pieces. This one's a butterfly. There is a leaf design. And then there is a sentiment option. So this one I use the pattern paper. This one I also use pattern paper. And then the die also has a leafy square that I added to the back. And then I did the one more chapter on the back of each of these. So I love that they're decorated on the front and on the back. That one says book lover. So yeah, these are really popular right now and I'm so glad because I was like unsure if they were too risky because you know I mainly bring out card making supplies but I figured that these would be perfect paper crafts for kids and for teachers. Um, they would make perfect teacher gifts. Speaking of teachers, here is the bookmark that I created. Again with Mr. Smith on the top, this is my boyfriend's last name and he's going to be a teacher in the fall. So I plan to put a little gift card in here because he just passed like all his tests to be certified. Um, let me see if I have a gift card around here somewhere. So here is a Starbucks card, but I think um, a Barnes and Noble card would be really cute back here. Um, for the plant ladder, you can also add this to the back and maybe do like a Lowe's or Home Depot or like a local nursery gift card. But I just absolutely love all the different school supplies. I did, you know, customize the name. I also added the thank you sentiment with those letter dies that are in the set. All right, let's show another book. Here is the open book again on the cover with that gorgeous sentiment that says on to the next chapter. We went with a blue theme because I know graduations usually center around school colors and my high school colors were navy blue. So I thought navy blue and gold would be something different because I feel like I always make black and white or like black and gold graduation cards. Again, we added the congrats grad sentiment to the top there. We added the big cap to the center and then we just embellished with the stars that are included in that bookmark set. The sentiment had that happy graduation that we put in the center there. We also added some books from the books and coffee set. I just love how everything really works well together. Obviously as a designer, I tried to do that with every collection, but I felt like this one just worked really well, if that makes sense. I just, 
I had a great time mixing the sets. Here is another book with that open book again down there with the flowers this time. I also added the gold sparkles. I did cut this one so that it fit on a vertical design. Up here I added a sentiment from the stamp set. Also on the spine of the book I did that happy birthday limited edition image which I think that looks so cool especially if you do put this in someone's bookshelf if they plan to keep it that way and display it. That's pretty awesome. And then this one I embellished with those books and coffee sets. And then that is the library window. You can see that you don't have to use it as a pop-up. You can use the pieces to create a library scene. This is the chair. I added a white kitty sitting on the chair. And then I added some greenery up there. Again, another fantasy inspired card. Here are the graduation bookmarks that I made, and I was kind of impressed by all the graduation cards and bookmarks we were able to make with that single die set. That is only one set doing all of these different designs. So this gift card, or this bookmark, I also made into kind of like a gift card holder or a money holder. So the star is included in the set and it cuts out all the stars so you can make it see through so that you can see the money going in and out of it, which is really fun. Um, then I did class of 2024 back there. I added the gift card option that you can slide in down there. And then again, I did on to the next chapter. This one for the window, I made it into a shaker. And then down here are those slimline stacked books. I only used two of them, um, so I kind of chopped it down so that it would fit in this smaller section. And then I embossed or debossed the words, congrats graduate. And you can see how deep of an impression you get with those uh, word dies, or not, I don't know what to call them, those word debossers that are included in the set. And then on the back, I did on to the next chapter. And then I did the graduation cap, which this is what you would see poking out of the book. So I think these are a really cute set. All right, let's share another uh, pop-up. This is the plant ladder. This is the card I made in last night's live. I put the Eureka palm in the center with a bridge. I wrapped the brick around and then it folds flat like this. And then the treat your shelf sentiment is that freebie die. Like I said, that works with this, this bookshelf or plant shelf. It also works with this classic bookshelf and also obviously the library window. So here is a card I made with the classic bookshelf and I added a gift card or like a little pocket in there to put candies. Also plan to add a Barnes and Noble gift card and I just went to town with the gold, as you can see, and I copied the picture that was on the packaging. I was like, I don't want to change that. I literally just want to recreate it. So that's what I did here. And I just turned it into a pop-up by adding that pocket in the center. And this is the A7 pop-up purse pocket um, that you can pretty much add to anything that's super big like this. I also, with the same die, made this almost like a dark academia inspired card also looks kind of masculine um, but here in the center i put the sofa from that sofa and chair library set and then on the sides i put the bookshelves from the library window to kind of create a box again i did use that wraparound brick um, to create this and this is a little bit bigger than an A7 card. I think this is going to probably, let me see. This is six by 
seven. So I probably will have to make a custom envelope for this, but I think this ended up looking really cool. Look at all those details. And this is the example where I said I cut everything from brown. I know it looks like it's different shades of brown, but I cut them from the same brown pattern paper that just happened to have a couple different shades of brown. Um, but that made it a lot faster for me. And then I just accented it with a ton of gold. This is probably my favorite card that I made. It did take a long time, but I think the the way it turned out was exactly the way I pictured it in my head with like the grandma pattern paper or pattern paper couch. Super pretty. Definitely my favorite die in the collection. All right, I think we have a couple more books left. We have another graduation book, again, with that same single die that does the bookmark. Down here, we have a book corner. So I figured this would be cute for the recipient to kind of take off the card. They would put the, the card, you know, on display and then they would use this as a bookmark. Um, so that's a cute way, you know, to use these little guys on a card. Um, then on the inside, we stuck with the black, gray, and gold color scheme. This is the birthday cover plate that we put on the inside this time. And I just love that we were able to use a ton of gold with this collection. Like I said, there was just like a mix of so many different styles. You can see here's the retro flowers that we cut from very bright colors this time. And you get such a different look um, when you compare it to this one that was definitely more styled to be more elegant. So these we just surrounded the entire shadow box with and then we cut the birthday book cover window through the front so that you can see through. And then we also did Love You Mom, so really cute Mother's Day card. And then I think we only have one more book left and one more bookmark. So this little bookmark is the stack of books. Again, this can go on a slimline card and you can see that I did do that embossing on it. So this says the influence of a teacher can never be erased. And I did do a little bit of Copic shading on the pages because there was a lot of white when I finished this. So I thought that would be kind of nice. I did add a ribbon so that when it sticks out of the book, you know, I can have it kind of cascading to the front. But again, another great teacher gift. Then we have our final book. This is the library window. Inside we have the vine from that window set and then also the flowers from the books and coffee set. And then this is the book stem. And we just covered the shadow box with the same stem and tons of little gold butterflies. Super dainty and very cute. And so that I believe finishes off the entire showcase. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this very long video. I felt like I talked a little bit fast in the beginning and was rambling a little bit, so I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, again, leave a comment down below to enter yourself to win a $50 gift card. And if you're in the live premiere chat, I will be announcing the winner now. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!